Hi all, this is Jayashree and today's topic is quite interesting. Why and how elements form compounds? Let us first see why elements are forming compounds. Before answering, I would like to ask you some questions. Why do you want to make friends? Why do you want to make bonds with others? Why can't you be alone? When you are alone, you are restless, right? You are unhappy inside. When your friends and dear ones are around you, you are happy. That means you are stable. This is the same reason elements are forming compounds. They react with other elements to form bonds and thus to compounds. When they form compounds, they are stable. How do they become stable? I will explain scientifically. Let us see quickly what are elements and compounds. An element is a pure substance which is made up of only one type of atoms. One example is hydrogen. Another one, nitrogen, carbon. See, when you take hydrogen, it consists of only one type of atoms that is of hydrogen. Carbon consists of only carbon atoms. Whereas a compound is a chemical substance formed by two or more elements combined chemically together. For example, water, H2O. Hydrogen and oxygen combined to form water. This is a compound. Another example is carbon dioxide. Carbon and oxygen combined to form carbon dioxide. Let us see how elements are bonded to form compounds. Today I will explain ionic bonds. Let us see the formation of NaCl which is the most common things we can see in our kitchen, isn't it? The first step to study this process is to write the electronic configuration of sodium and chlorine. Sodium, atomic number 11. How to see the atomic number and how to write the electronic configuration I have already explained in the last video. Any doubt is that please check that video. Okay, 11 and uh, electronic configuration is 281. Chlorine, atomic number is 17 and electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. By reacting with each other, how they become stable? There is a universal law. When energy is less, stability will be less. In the universe, everything's ultimate aim is to get stability by reducing energy. A small child or an adult who is acting, of course it's a small child. Right? Because a lot of energy is entrapped in a small child. So in order to release it, a small child always will jump around and play around. The same way, elements will react with another elements and they will form bonds. In this process of forming bonds, they will release energy. Another point is that all the elements want 8 electron in its valence shell or outermost shell. This is the outermost shell of sodium. It is also known as valence shell. K L M. So M is the outermost shell of sodium, and M is the outermost shell of chlorine too. And the, they need both these elements need eight electron in its valence shell. This is known as octet formation. Octa means 8. I will show you how sodium and chlorine react with each other to form sodium chloride and complete their octet. Sodium 11, 2, 8, 1 and chlorine 17, 2, 8, 7. This is K, L and M shells. You can see that sodium is having only one electron in its outermost shell. That is in the M shell. Now sodium needs seven more electrons to complete its octet. Who will give? Nobody will give seven electrons. One or two or three electrons sodium can get from others. But seven electrons nobody is going to give. And sodium knows it very well. I told you don't underestimate the non-living things. They are just behaving like us. So sodium knows it very well. So what is the alternate method? Sodium will give out this electron. When sodium gives out this electron, what will happen? Its outermost shell will become 
left L and its octet is already completed. So sodium will give out one electron to become Na plus. In the last class already I told sodium is a metal, they are givers. Now chlorine, it has seven electron in its outermost shell and it is very easy to get one more electron. Sodium has already given out one electron. That one electron will be accepted by chlorine. And chlorine will become Cl minus. Now what happened? They helped each other and both of their octet is completed. A friend in need is a friend indeed. When they help each other, a beautiful bond formed between them. And they form a NaCl. This bond, which is formed by the electrostatic force of attraction, means because of the charges, electricity is there here now. Because of the electrostatic force of attraction, this bond is formed. And such bonds are known as ionic bonds. Thank you children for watching this video. You can uh, see uh, the formation of some other ionic compounds like LgCl2, CaO, Na2O, etc.